public hall today. Um, I went to town the other day with my mom and I went to a bunch of not really book places. I went to a Goodwill and a church thrift store and then we went to a used bookstore and I ended up getting 19 books but I gave one to my mom so I only have 18 here. The one that I gave to my mom was the Te of Piglet. I think that's how you say it. It's just the T-E of Piglet. She loves Piglet and it was, had a bunch of illustrations of the old Piglet in it. I figured she would love that and I got that for her. It was only a dollar fifty at the Goodwill. And I guess I should get on with the rest of my haul. The other books that I got from the Goodwill the paperbacks were a dollar and the hardcovers were a dollar fifty. The first one is The Tragedy of Coriolanus. I don't know, it's Shakespeare. And eventually I want to get like a collection of all of Shakespeare's work. But this is really old. Not like really, really. It's from 1962. But it was cool. And it was originally 45 cents when it was really. I paid a dollar for it. I never heard of this one, so I figured I should try to read it. And the next one that I got, I actually got because of my mom, again, and I forgot to leave this with her. Uh, Robert Jordan, New Spring. It is part of the Wheel of Time series, which she's read all of them and she gave me all of the books, but I only have one through eleven. She'd never heard of this before and she wanted to read it and she said that if I end up reading the Wheel of Time series and I end up liking them that I'll probably want to read it too and it was only a dollar. It's like perfect condition. There's just one crease along the spine. On these little paperbacks it's really hard not to crease them. This next book I got mainly because there's a movie out for it and I wanted to read the book before I saw the movie because I heard the book was a lot better than the movie but it's Life of Pi by is it Jan Martell? Not sure. but. It was only a dollar. Now my next book I've been wanting to read for a while and I got as a free download on my Kindle Fire a while back. Picture of Dorian Gray by Oscar Wilde and I've been wanting to read it. I've seen the movie that's based off of this and I thought that was pretty good. Barnes and Noble classic. Now the next three books I have are actually a series. The Stoneheart Trilogy books one and three are paperback and book two is a hardcover and I got this entire trilogy for $3.50. The only thing I'm kind of sad that that's tore up but it's all bent on the back too. But for $3.50 I'll be willing to try it and if I like it I'll replace this one with a better looking one. This one says Disney on it. The other two don't but that one says Disney. And this last one I got just because I thought it was funny. Uh, my boyfriend loves Shaq. It's Shaq Attack by Shaquille O'Neal. I thought he'd get a kick out of it. He's disappointed that there's no pictures. Like, there's a couple of pictures here. Okay. A couple of pictures in there. But he was hoping for a lot more pictures. He's probably not going to read it, but it was just a dollar. And just a dollar for him to go, what? <laughs> was hilarious, so that was worth a buck for me. <laughs> now that's all that I got at the Goodwill. The next place we went to was a church-run thrift store. This place has paperbacks for 15 cents and hardcovers for 50 cents. I'm not sure, I always forget the name of it, but I got four books from there. The first one is The Odyssey of Homer, and it's a verse translation by Alan Mandelbaum. This was 15 cents. Now this next one, actually, I was really surprised to see this in a church thrift store, and it's Hitler's book, Mein Kampf. Not very good at German. This is Hitler's book. And I got it for 15 cents. I figured if anything, it's a piece of history. The only thing is, the spine is kind of broke. Looks like somebody bent it in half in a couple of places. But I, I've heard of this book before. I've heard he made all of, pretty much all of Germany read this, I think. Correct me if I'm wrong. 
I don't know, that's what my mom told me. It's just like, it's a piece of history in my hands and I only paid 15 cents for it. And I'm kind of interested to seeing what he wrote. And the next book I got, again it was 15 cents, it's paperback, but it's An Arsonist's Guide to Writers' Homes in New England by Brock Clark. It's a novel. A novel. <laughs> Other than that, and the little burning lady on the front. I didn't really read the back. It looked interesting. And it's got this stuff that makes it look like it's a Cliff Notes, which is weird. But 15 cents again. And my last book is a hardcover, and I'm a little sad because it doesn't have the dust jacket. It is TTYL by Lauren Miracle. I actually picked this up even without the dust jacket because it was only 50 cents. And I had heard Little Book Owl. I heard her talking about this book and she read a little excerpt out of it. It sounded funny. And it was only 50 cents. So it's kind of sad that it doesn't have the dust jacket. But other than that, it's in really nice condition. I figured for 50 cents I could try it out even without the dust jacket. Now the last books that I got were from a bookstore that's a used bookstore and usually they don't have very high quality books, so I was originally going to the store looking for a copy of The Hobbit. I was actually, like, that was the particular book that I was looking for whenever I went to the store. But I ended up finding a few books that I liked, and they were actually in really good condition. The first one I actually kind of got for my boyfriend, but I want to read it. World War Z by Max Brooks, now a major motion picture, an oral history of the zombie war. This was $3.50. And the second book I got is actually an omnibus of the complete series, Jill Kismet by Lilith St. Croix. And this has six books in it. Night Shift, Hunter's Prayer, Redemption Alley, Flesh Circus, Heaven Spite, and Angel Town. And this was only $3.50. Huge book. Oh my goodness. I've been looking into this series. I've heard of Lilith St. Crow before. I don't know. I don't remember if I hadn't heard very good things about this series or what. All six books for $3.50. Figured I'd at least try it out. Now this next book, I was so excited to find The Book Thief by Marcus Z Zusak. And I watched the movie. I love the movie. Watching Little Book Owl's videos made me really want to read this book. And it was only $1.25. Now it's got the sticker on it. And it's the movie cover. It's in perfect condition. And it was only $1.25. And the next book I got is The Memories We Keep by Walter Zacharias. I don't remember where I heard about this book. And I don't remember what it's about. But I remember that whenever I heard about it, I was like, ooh, I need to look into getting that book. And this one was another one that was only $1.25. And look at that cover. It's so cool. And this one, I read the movie a long time ago, and I didn't even realize that it was a book until I found this. Devil Wars Prada by Lauren Weisberger. And yeah, I did not realize that this was a book. So whenever I found this for $1.25, I had to pick it up. Uh, my last book is a Sarah Dessen novel and it is Along for the Ride. I think I'm only missing three more books of hers. But last year I spent a whole month just reading her books. I got through four or five books I think but this is one that I was missing and it was again a dollar twenty-five so Let's see if I can pick these up. There are a lot of books here. I'm not going to be able to get these all in frame because there's a door behind me. Look at this. There's so many books here. I'd better get reading. That's all I have for today and I'll get back with you next time I have something to show. Bye!